This video will go over how to set up emergency access for your RoboForm account. First, we will go over how to navigate to the emergency access menu on each different device type. Then, in the next section, we will discuss emergency contact creation in depth and provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to use emergency access. Open your browser and click the RoboForm extension. In the upper left corner of the extensions menu, click the house icon to be brought to the start page. Once you are on the start page, in the lower left corner, click emergency access. Then click the blue plus button in the bottom right. Open the RoboForm app. Tap tools in the bottom right corner and then select Emergency Access. Tap the blue plus button to begin creating an emergency contact. Open the RoboForm app. Tap Tools in the bottom right corner and then tap Emergency Access. Tap the blue plus button to begin creating an emergency contact. In order to grant emergency access, an emergency contact must be added. Because the process of adding an emergency contact is largely the same between platforms, we will be proceeding from this point using the start page for this tutorial. Enter the RoboForm account email and desired timeout period for your emergency contact. The timeout period is the amount of time that the grantor of emergency access has before they are able to decline the emergency contact's request for access. If the grantor does not decline or respond before the timeout period lapses, the emergency contact will receive access to their RoboForm data. Before you invite someone, make sure they have an existing RoboForm account. Emergency access will not send an invitation to an email that is not already associated with a free or everywhere account. Links to create a free RoboForm account are in the description below. The timeout periods to choose from are immediately, 12 hours, 24 hours, 2 days, 3 days, 7 days, 14 days, and 30 days. When you are done entering the email and timeout period, click the blue OK button. After clicking OK, your invited emergency contact will appear under the My Emergency Contacts tab. The invited emergency contact will also be notified of the pending invitation via email, within the RoboForm interface, and in the I'm Emergency Contact 4 tab on the Emergency Access page, where they can choose to accept or decline the invitation by clicking the check mark or X respectively and then clicking the blue Yes button on the following prompt. The Emergency Access grantor will be notified via email when the invited emergency contact accepts or declines the invitation. The grantor will need to log in and or sync the account after the invitation has been accepted. Upon accepting the invitation, emergency contacts have the option to request access to the grantor's RoboForm account data. You can do this through the Emergency Access page on the Start page by clicking the I'm Emergency Contact 4 tab, clicking the three dots on the right of the account that you are the emergency contact for, and selecting Request Access from the menu. A window will appear prompting you to confirm the request. Click the blue Yes button on this window. Once the emergency contact sends the access request, they will receive confirmation of the sent request within RoboForm's interface. The timer will now start counting down the preset timeout period. As soon as the emergency contact requests access, the emergency access grantor is notified via email and within RoboForm's interface. They now have the option within the preset timeout period to manually grant, revoke, or not respond to the pending request. If the request is manually granted, as shown in this example, or no reply is provided within the preset timeout period, the emergency contact will receive access to all of the grantor's RoboForm account data. The request for access can also be rejected by the emergency access sender within the same preset timeout period. In the case of rejection, the emergency contact will be notified and no data will be shared. After the request is granted or the timeout period runs out, the emergency contact can access the grantor's data through the emergency access page on the start page by clicking the I'm Emergency Contact 4 tab, 
clicking the three dots on the right of the account you are the emergency contact for, and selecting Get Data from the menu. The Emergency Access Grantors account data will open in view only mode with an option for the emergency contact to also download specific items or the entire Emergency Access Sender's RoboForm account data. The downloaded data will show up in the Emergency Contact's RoboForm account under a folder named after the grantor's email.